Welcome to Living History UK. My name's Steve Davis and this is RAF Fooled. At the outbreak of war in 1939, British High Command very quickly realised it needed somewhere to store all its munitions for the war ahead. And that's where RAF Fold came into being. RAF Fold was an underground munitions depot, and from 1939 to 1944, it was the centralised place where explosives and ordnance were stored in Great Britain. Numerous types of explosives were stored at RAF Fold, including high explosives, incendiary devices, and numerous shells. Above all, the munitions stored here were destined for use by the Royal Air Force and they would have supplied nearby bomber bases such as RAF Tayton Hill. At 11.11am on the 27th of November 1944, the largest non-nuclear explosion of both world wars took place right here at RAF Fold. The explosion obliterated the landscape, taking with it a nearby farm and also a nearby reservoir, but also leaving behind a trail of destruction. Over 70 lives were lost and 18 of those have no known grave and they still lie somewhere within the crater. The cause of the explosion still remains unclear but witnesses who worked down there at the time noted that a number of Italian prisoners of war worked down there and it's rumoured that one of them could have been using the wrong tools. Instead of using a wooden baton to remove the detonator it's rumoured that a brass chisel was used instead which might have triggered the explosion. After the accident, the site was still being used by the RAF right up to 1966. And following France's withdrawal from NATO, the US decided to store a number of ammunition and munitions here from 1967 to 1973. Some urban explorers have ventured underground to what remains of the site, and scars of the depot still litter the landscape today, such as this ventilation tower. In 1990, a memorial stone was finally placed here to commemorate those who lost their lives in 1944. The explosion decimated the landscape here and its after effects are still felt nearly 90 years on. The Cock Inn, a nearby pub, was damaged during the explosion and over 200 cattle were also killed in the nearby vicinity of RAF Fold. Their name shall live forevermore at the going down of the sun and in the morning we will remember them.